Hey, what's good family? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find $20 options trades. No hesitation here. We're going to start off and we're going to take a look at the kind of stocks you want to look at when you're looking for $20 options trades. All right, so here we are in the handy dandy Robinhood. And as you can see at the top left, it says $20 trades and what these are. I made this list just for this video. And for those of you interested in making your own list on Robinhood and stuff, you can actually scroll down click on list hit create watch list or screener and if you want to make a screener do screener if you want to make a watch list create watch list that's exactly what i did i created this watch list right here and even if you want to copy this exact list i uh, want to take a moment to say i'm not a financial advisor this isn't financial advice this is just kind of how i would go about it if I'm looking for $20 trades and I'm trying to start an account from nothing or trying to revive an account, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these stocks and what all these stocks have in common aside from the QQQ and the SPY is they're all popular stocks. They get good volume. They have a lot of eyes on them. So you don't have to worry as much about having trouble getting in and out of options contracts. So that's going to be the first thing you want to keep in mind. I get a lot of screenshots of people trading forward, trying to use that to start out trading options because the options are so cheap, but the options are cheap because it doesn't move that much. These option contracts can be cheap, but they also have the potential to move. For example, if we take a look at Belanter, the stock is only $27 right now. It has so many eyeballs on it and it moved 5% or $1.38 from open to close. And if you're in my Discord and saw the watch list video, you actually saw me call this one out this morning. Palantir could pop big above this 26, 28 level. Now taking a look at these contracts and seeing how you could have picked this contract. If you hit trade, trade options, and we can look and see today's contracts. These are gonna be a lot cheaper, but this is also going to be a lot riskier for you. So usually, unless you're highly disciplined, honestly, I'm not even that disciplined. I'm gonna be real with you. I usually like to get at least a week, still not that much time, but at least a week, just to give it time to make a move. And then when you see the move, get out. So for instance, looking at this trade right here, this 27.5 call, this contract actually started the day off at 19 cents or $19 for the whole contract. And it is currently trading at 55. That is a 285% return. And once again, had you seen my watch list, you could have taken advantage of it. I'm trying to keep this video pretty brief and to the point, but you, you get what I mean. There's a decent enough amount of time on this. There's still a full week on this contract. It went from $19 to 55. Honestly, if you're using $20 to trade options or not trades, you're gonna to wanna to stick around in too long. So uh, with that being said, now let's hop into the charts and take a look at some things you may wanna look at to make your entries and kind of when to get out of your trade. All right, so here we are in the charts. We're looking at Palantir. All right, this is how I had my chart set up this morning. If you, once again, if you saw the watch list, I had this here as resistance and this here as support. And it actually pretty much came, bounced off support before running and breaking through resistance. Here on this break of resistance, this is when you enter the trade. Me typically throughout the day, I like to watch anywhere from the five to the 15 minute when I'm in my trade. So. Let's look and see what it looked like on the five. So if I get in the trade and I see success this early, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be watching, this is the 13 EMA. One of the things I might do is watch this 13 EMA, pretty much ride it up until we come up and touch this. So say we actually took this trade. You get a break right here and you get a candle completely above right here. I might have entered right here and I may have put my stop uh, maybe right here. Had you taken this trade, that right there is a 65 cent move and actually to be more precise, that is a 2.5% move. And that right there is massive profits just off a of breakout right there. 
one more thing I want you to keep in mind uh, when you are looking for these trades uh, one thing when it comes to identifying when you could possibly get a breakout that is going to be important one of the things you're probably going to want to look for when you are trading stocks like these is liquidity so think whenever you see these long wicks if it's to the top side there is a lot of sellers if it's to the bottom side there's a lot of buyers all right there is a battle going on and just know whenever you see these wicks notice kind of down here this kind of formed a bit of a trend line this is kind of something you more catch over time but this kind of formed a bit of a trend line you have trend line liquidity there's a lot of wicks on the way up to its destination right here whenever you see wicks liquidity it can be up in the trend line it can be kind of sideways trading kind of like this whenever you see that just know whatever stock is charging up for a big move like whenever you see a bunch of sideways trading like this let's drop down to the one hour whenever you see a bunch of wigs sideways trading it can be like that for days it can be like that for weeks but just know whenever you see it consolidating hey maybe it's a good time hey draw your support draw your resistance and set an alert for the break and it doesn't always play out your way trading is a game of probabilities but that right there that's going to be how you can take $20 options and really make trades that seem to make a difference in your portfolio not risking that much if you enjoyed the video or learned anything be sure to smash the like button if you're interested in seeing these watch list videos yourself be sure to join the patreon down below in the description and last but certainly not least thank you so much for watching matthew manuel signing off and i want to change your life